just last month, Instagram announced that creators can now take the reels that they make and boost them as ads. We can do this within the Instagram app. This will allow you to expand your reach so more people besides your current followers can see the real creative that you have uploaded. So in this video, we're going to show you what type of reels can be used to boost, how to do it within the Instagram app, and how to review insights after your campaign goes live. Okay, we're on the dashboard of the Pay Media Pro's Instagram account. Just for the sake of this video, I have this little snippet of my new backdrop, and I uploaded it as a reel. Let's click on this one. I'm just going to let it go. Finish to the end. I don't have it too long. But now it's going to talk about which reels are allowed to be boosted. And that's a good question. The reels must be less than 60 seconds, and it has to be in a 9 to 16 aspect ratio. So yes, that means it has to be a vertical video, but it also must have a full screen format. Not all vertical videos are a 9 to 16 ratio. If you have any copyrighted music as the audio for your reel, it will not be eligible to be used. If you're using any copyrighted GIFs, let's say it's from a, a movie or a TV show, that's not going to be allowed either. So what I uploaded here as this reel was actually the second video I tried to upload. I had a much cooler video where like the whole banner I was on fire and I was going to say this banner's fire. Something a little bit more engaging than this. But I was not allowed to use that within this demo to boost the post because any reel that is using filters or any effects on them, those are also ineligible to be boosted. So pretty much you got to stick with a 9x16 vertical video, all original content, all original audio. But if I do scroll down a little bit, you do see the blue boost post button. For some reason, if your reel is not eligible to be boosted, your boost post button will be a little bit grayed out. It'll be a lighter shade blue, and you just flat out won't be able to click on it. So that's how I found out the hard way and had to redo my video. But since this one is good, I'm going to tap on boost post. And here we get to the part where we can choose a specific goal for this boost post campaign. I will say to even get to this point, you need to have two factor authentication set up in both the Instagram business profile as well as your Instagram account. They will not let you get to this point until you have both of those turned on within your settings. So now you see the three options we get in terms of goals for the boosted post. Do you want more profile visits? Engagement with your Instagram profile, of course. Website visits, driving traffic to your website. Or more messages. For this video, I'm not going to choose more messages. That's because we already have a video talking about WhatsApp message campaigns through Instagram. So if you are interested in getting more WhatsApp messages via an Instagram boosted post, just watch this video here. It takes a little bit more setup and that video will go through more of the details. So for this one, I'm just going to encourage more profile visits. And there we saw we can tap to get a preview of what this would look like. How do we want to look at it? Let's look at it as a feed first. And there we see the call to action is visit Instagram profile. Turns blue. There it is. If we go back. Let's see how it looks on stories. I could play the reel. Whether it's played or not, you saw what happened to the call to action. Let's go back. And if we want to have more website visits, let's tap the preview again. See how it looks on the feed. Instead of visiting the profile, there's learn more. That's you will add your URL, just like a typical Instagram or Facebook ad. And in this preview, it's also giving us Facebook placements. So the campaign setup will be a little bit different, but I'm going to stick with profile visits. Like I said, I selected my option. There it is confirming my Instagram profile username. Sorry, Michelle, our Instagram profile username. And then we can hit next. Next, there's the drop down up top. It could be important if you are in specific special categories, credit, employment, housing, or social issues. Of course, it doesn't apply to us, but if you are within any of those industries or categories, you have to make sure it's selected. Otherwise, it's probably going to get caught, campaign will be disapproved, and your ad won't run. As for the targeting option, you can see this is starting off as automatic. Think of it as like a lookalike audience. Instagram is going to try to go after people who are like our current followers. If you have a specific audience in mind, you can try to use the Facebook ads option. And if I click edit, I can rename it if I want to get a little bit more specific with my locations. If I want to get down really specific within a few miles of my current area, I could do that, but we don't need to. If I go back to regional, I'm going to stick with the US, cancel out of that, and I can look up specific interests, like in this case, yeah, maybe marketing. And then I'd have to go back. There's a few interests right there. And as you see, as I start adding stuff, 
they're actually telling me it's too broad. The reach is really wide. Whatever, this is just a demo. If I wanted to, I can look at updating the age and gender. Those are the only gender options that we get. And then I could look at targeting expansion, but this is clearly too broad right now. So it does not make sense for me to turn that on. And there we see the final option is creating our own, where it's almost what we did with the other audience. I'd still have to search for all my interests, but then I'd also have to search for another new location, which if you don't want to do the entire country, it's pretty much the same thing. Except for on the create your own, they did have the targeting expansion turned on. Not sure if you saw that, but it's pretty straightforward on how you can pick some of the basic targeting options that you have. Just notice here that we're not seeing retargeting as an option. So this is going to be a higher up type of campaign boost. So I'm going to tap on next there. You can choose the budget for the campaign and how long you would like the campaign to run the duration of the campaign. If I leave it as is for $5 a day with the duration as six days, it's telling us right at the top five times six, that's $30. And then it's giving us the estimated reach. We could potentially show up between 3,900 to 10,000 users. If you want this to be a little bit more evergreen, you can tap up top to say, hey, let this run until I pause it. So because of that, and Instagram doesn't know when you're gonna pause it, then they're switching it to daily estimates. So still at $5 a day, around 650 users to 1,700 users a day. Pretty straightforward again. But just in case I forget to go back in and turn this off, I'm gonna lower this a little bit. I don't mind losing $15 if I forget after recording this. And then I'm gonna tap next again. And here's the last chance for us to review the ad before we push this live. There's the arrow in the upper left-hand corner. If for whatever reason I want to change anything, I can go back, make the edits I need to, and then I'll have to keep hitting next again till I get to the screen. If everything looks good, there's the payment information. I'm not gonna tap on that one because I'll have to blur everything out. There's the card in place. Let's boost this post. There we get the little message. It could take up to 24 hours for my ad to be reviewed. I have never seen it take up to 24 hours for a boosted post. If I'm good with that, we can click OK. Mine is still under approval. Maybe we can see something different by the time I'm recording this, but I don't think it's going to go that fast. But let's say everything is approved. Your boosted reel is running. You probably want to see how it's doing, right? And look at how it's doing compared to the goal that you selected for the boosted post. On the same line where we did click the boost post button, there's view insights. If I scroll down, we'll be able to eventually review the performance of the ad. You can see there'll be an estimate of how many people we reach. They're showing us what the ad goal was. It's going to show how many people have visited the profile, impressions, how many people were playing the reel, taps on the ad, the status of the ad, and then the organic insights at the bottom. I'm just going to scroll back up to the top and then click the back arrow. And for now, that's the bulk of it and how easy it is to take one of your reels on Instagram and boost them to a higher level audience. It's a pretty simple campaign. And because of that, the process of setting up is easy and all the insights that you're interested in will be available underneath the actual reel within your Instagram account. If you have any other questions about which reels can be boosted or maybe even how to get one up on your Instagram account, we're fine helping you out. Feel free to ask those questions below. But anything else related to boosted posts on Instagram, whether it's the WhatsApp type campaigns we previously mentioned or boosted reels like we're talking about right now, we're also happy to answer those questions too. It's just another way to try to connect with new users and potential customers on the Instagram platform. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.